and the best of luck to you. Hi, Sherry. Welcome back. <laughs> Seamless. Did you catch up? Brilliant. You didn't see me, did you? No! No, don't you worry about that. I'll oh. give you another crack at the competition a little later. Um, but first things first, put some emails in. Catch your breath, ladies. Wipe your hands. I'm glad you got the antiseptic wipes out, Carol. And uh, uh, Leslie, uh, over to you. I've got an email from Sarah in Wales. She says, Oh, we've all been here, haven't we? Our female beagle puppy loves to hump her blankets. Whenever we have guests around for the evening, she gathers them up in a huge pile and humps away to our embarrassment. However, it's preferable to her old habit of eating her poo, though. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Oh, lovely. I think I'd get a cat, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, this, is, uh, this is from Jude. She says, um, I was walking my dog past our local fire station on a hot day and some of the firemen were outside, so uh, she started strutting her stuff, you know, working it, walking it. And she said, I got some really admiring glances and felt really pleased with myself until the firemen started laughing. And she looked down and her, bub <laughs> her dog was scratching its bum uh, on the pavement by being dragged along by it. Apparently dogs do that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Not pleasant. I know men that do that. Do you know? <laughs> But now, ladies, 46-year-old Fiona Bruce, the newsreader, has been announced as the winner of this year's Rear of the Year and has been seen posing, showing off her very pertly behind. It's a very nice behind, Whoa. too, Fiona. There she is. The votes came flooding in after Fiona appeared in tight jeans during a documentary about Queen Victoria, and she says of her win, I'm just flattered that anyone's still looking. Oh, bless. Which got us to thinking, has anything happened to us recently that made us think... Yeah, do you know what? I've still got it. Well, I've still got it. Have I, you? Have I you got have it? I have to say that I had a lovely little experience recently with my daughter, with Chloe, who's 16. You know, so I'm having, I've been a bit careful because, you, you know, you, you don't want to be sort of inadvertently competing with your daughter, do you, no, at that's all? Wrong. That's horrid. Yeah. But she came home and she's so gorgeous. She said to me, Mum, do you know, she said, a couple of my mates said they quite fancy you. And my girlfriends, too, they said, you're all right. You know your mum, we saw her on the telly, we were watching her on the, on the Loose Women, and she said, she looks blooming fantastic. And that made me feel great. Oh, I thought, yeah, do you I've fantastic. still got it. You've you know. got it. You yeah. have. 56 years of yeah. sexiness, Leslie Not Garrett. Five. don't add a oh. lot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do they call you a MILF? Well, yeah, apparently they do. A mum yeah. you like to fancy. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the one, Carol. <laughs> that I wasn't going to say that word, but yes. <laughs> She, they do do that. But it's all it's going back to what we were talking about earlier in a way, isn't it? It's all about confidence and how you feel about yourself, yeah, isn't it? Because you, you, can, you can feel confident or you can feel like you can still do it, but it's a question of... It's the no, most sexy thing ever, isn't it? A confident person. Inner confidence. Male but you don't confidence. necessarily have to put it out there, or mm. do you, do you think? Have you seen my boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> You've all seen your boyfriend, Carol. He's, uh, he's very young, he's very handsome. She's and, really um, got it, haven't you? So, yeah, you I, every day, I, every time I wake up in the morning and I see him there, I think, oh, I've still You've got, got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, <thank laughs> no, really, I mean, seriously, I do, I do kind of think that, but not, not really. The only time I do think that I've still really got it is... And people have said this to me. One of our ex-bosses said to me once, she went, you know, do you know what, Carol? She said, the problem with you is you look much better in photographs than you do in real life. <laughs> That's not nice. Oh, no, That's honestly, nice. but sometimes I look at photographs of myself and I think, oh, yeah, I've still got it. But when I look in the mirror, I don't, I don't <laughs> think that. Do you know what I mean? Seriously, I don't, I don't put myself down all the time. But is that just snaps or, or special snaps usually. posed ones? Yeah, oh, that's snaps. very good. Then. Just snaps. Yeah. And I look at them and I think, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. not bad. I've still got it. But, you know, not in real life. So it's about the only time. I don't, I don't take any so notice it, of people wolf whistling. If you were, well, yeah, wolf whistles, you know, for example, yeah. you know, if, if I was walking down the street and I heard a wolf whistle, I would in no way stop and turn to look. I oh, wouldn't assume for one no, minute it's for me. To, my daughter and I both stop and look. Was that yours or was it mine? I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, there was a time when I'd think, Maybe. But now <laughs> I just think, nah. So actually, you know, most of us probably look better from behind. So if they do it, from, <laughs> they go walking down the road and you turn around and they go, ah! <laughs> Carol was wearing the most amazing little mini dress and you had these great boots on and she was walking down the corridor and me and one of the girls that work on the show, we did fit, she looked so good, we went over and tapped you on the shoulder, didn't we, and said, you look amazing from behind. I did. <laughs> you, you tapped me on the shoulder and you went, oh, it's you. <laughs> you said you looked amazing, very foxy. I tell you, I'm not behind. <laughs> quite a while ago, I remember this guy saying to me, I saw you in the car today, you look fabulous. And I said, did I? And he went, yeah, no, I only saw you from behind, but you look fantastic. <laughs> and it was my Afghan hound. <laughs> with the blonde hair. That's what he saw from behind. We're well, talking so, of dogs, the results are in... Dog. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yes.
beautiful blonde hair. And they said, oh, you look beautiful from me. <laughs> no, my dog does. <laughs> We're talking to dogs, ladies. The results are in oh, after this oh, next oh. break. It was an amazing performance by all involved. But, of course, in today's live dog challenge, there can only be one winner. Will it be Carol with her Pablo or Sherry with her Spud? <laughs> oh, oh, what do you mean, nerd? <laughs> spud, don't give up. The results are in. <laughs> okay, ladies. Alison has totted up the times, and without further ado, the winner of the Loose Women Dog Obstacle Challenge 2010 with a time of 36 seconds is. Carol. Alison, if you wouldn't mind presenting Carol with her trophy, which you look oh, smashing God, in your living room, Carol. Sherry, you Sherry, are a worthy I've got runner more up. bad news for you, I'm afraid. Not only did you not win, you're actually disqualified. Oh. Yeah, you ran out of time because your dog got trapped in the tunnel. Oh. But, but well played, Spud. And uh, can get, Carol, yeah. massive congratulations. You're a winner. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, Carol's a winner here in the studio, but could you be a winner at home?